Hi, good night. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Teacher, no se le escucha. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Right. I see. And when I, uh, let me see. And when, cuando estoy compartiendo la pantalla, no. No. Okay, well, probemos. Let me see this. Si, ahorita, si, aunque no comp... Ahorita, sí. sí. Okay. Sí. Yeah. All right.
Sí, sí. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Now let's begin. Now we're going to start. Uh, today we have a imperatives and conversation, but before I want to show you two. Voy a mostrarles tres videos cortitos sobre hurt, ache, and pain, okay? Okay. You are hurting me. Don't hurt his feelings. Hey. Como verbo significa doler y como sustantivo dolor. Verbo regular. Eight, eight. Equivale a un dolor constante. The knee is complained of an ache in his stomach. After the workout, my whole body ache. I have a headache and the stomach ache. She has a toothache and a backache. Pain. Como verbo significa doler y como sustantivo dolor. Expresa un dolor debido a una herida, enfermedad o problemas emocionales. I have a pain in my leg. I was in pain after the accident. It pains me to admit it, but you were right. It pains me to see how they treat him. So. Se usa como sustantivo. Significa dolor y irritación. En general, se refiere a la garganta, pero tiene más aplicaciones. I have sore throat. The sore on my lip is killing me. My legs are sore. Okay. So this is one, one way to to see how they use, there is not a specific, no hay una regla specific, specific, right? So a specific rule, but uh, you can see the different forms. Sometimes they are verbs, sometimes they are nouns, sometimes they are like adjectives. Okay, this is another one. Use the word ache when describing some kind of pain. I have a headache. My head aches. I have a toothache. My tooth aches. I have a stomach ache. I have a, a back ache. I have an earache. My ear aches. The word ache uses a K sound. Ache. Tooth ache. Stomach ache. You can also use the word pain. I have a pain in my stomach. I have a pain in my back. Or use the word hurt. My back hurts. My head hurts. I hurt my knee. I injured my knee. I hurt my back. I injured my back. I hurt my hand. I injured my hand. I did something to my knee. I sucked at my back. I messed up my 
I totally wasted my arm. Okay. <clears throat> in this video you will find I already I already pasted the link in the in the chat. Okay, so that you can see it later. But in this one you can see expressions in is land right these are like informal informal ways to to express you know uh, problems right like in this one when it says I did something to my knee okay uh, Lisa algo mi rodilla right but you I mean it's, it's not that like it hurts uh, I have a pain it's something that I did something it's a very informal way to express it okay and then, like this, you will find other uh, expressions like me fregué, me arruiné, okay, me lastimé, different ways to to say different expressions, right? You can say, I did something I to my, my back. I screwed up my back, something that, well, levanté algo muy pesado, right? I messed up my hair. Teacher. Okay. Uh -huh. este, siempre, para referirnos, siempre vamos a. I have a hot chair. Headache. I have, ajá, nos vamos a referir cuando hay dolor de cabeza, dolor de espalda. Mm -hmm. eh, nos vamos a referir así. Por decir, my horse, mi espalda. My back, ajá, uh -huh, my, my, I have a backache. I, mm -hmm. when you say I have a backache, es un, Tengo un dolor de espalda es, es more, uh, more specific, right? Mm -hmm. eh, en una say, parte específica. Ajá, uh -huh, I have a headache, right? Tengo un dolor de cabeza. But you say, I have a pain in my head, es como tengo un dolor de la cabeza, pero, en la cabeza, pero no sé qué es, right? Can be something, puede ser algo es, leve o algo serio, right? Okay, y, be... ¿Y estos son los verbos irregulares? No, estos son no, palabras. No, es, son palabras para uh -huh. referirse a dolor o, por ejemplo, o cuando uno se siente mal, ¿ok? O lastimado, right? Entonces, uh -huh. este, algunos, eh, por ejemplo, ache, ache es un verbo regular, pain es un verbo regular, eh, uh -huh. hurt es un irregular, o sea, es, esto no tiene que ver con los, con, con... Con los verbos eh, regulares y irregulares, ¿verdad? Right? Esto es, Ah, bueno. Es como a veces se usan como verbos eh, y a veces como sustantivos. Ok. Me refería como a un ejemplo. Uh -huh. Me refería como a un ejemplo por decir algo, me duele la cabeza. Uh -huh. Pero si sí, lo vamos a... I, I have a hard, hard share. Headache. Headache. He headache. Headache. Uh -huh. headache. Uh -huh. Yes, I have a headache. Okay. Siempre le vamos a... A, a añadir otra, a otras letras a cada, a cada palabra. Um, uh, let me see. Quiero entenderla bien para... Eh, a ver, a, a ver. I have es el verbo tengo. Eh, I tengo. Have. Sí, I have. Entonces, ajá. Un, Yo ah. tengo. La A es un. Ajá. Ajá. Cabeza, Ede. ya sabemos que es... Ede, ajá. Ede, que es el dolor de cabeza. I have a headache. Mm -hmm. Head, ache. Stomach, stomach ache. I, uh -huh. Stomach, stomach. I have a stomach ache. Back, ache. I have back a... ache. Ahí es donde le pregunto yo que entonces mm -hmm. siempre hay que agregarle otras otras letras. Sí, el ache. Uh -huh. Back ache, headache, uh -huh. uh -huh. stomach uh -huh. ache, uh, tooth, toothache. Okay, el toothache. Eh, let me see what else. Uh, probably the eh, probably earache. Okay, an ear earache. Un olor de oídos, right? An earache. So all those can be. Okay. Eh, let me see. If there is another one, I guess. Uh, this one. Just let me. Sí, esa era mi duda. No, it's okay. It's no problem. 
Just send me okay. copy the link. <laughs> Para que lo vuelvan a ver despacito. Uh -huh. Este, este lleva español, por eso se los puse ahí para... Se usa como verbo y significa doler y herir. Por ejemplo, este, dice o como verbo que significa doler o herir. Por ejemplo... Verbo y significa doler y herir. Es un verbo irregular. Aquí este acaban de que es un verbo, right? Se usa para cualquier... Sí. Ok, me duele el brazo. My... Arm hurts. My arm hurts. Uh, where does it hurt? Uh, where does it hurt? Okay. Where does it hurt? Me estás haciendo daño. Me estás lastimando. Okay. Cuando alguien le aprieta el brazo o o alguna parte que duele, es el más. Y sería verdad, teacher, como decir her, her es más para expresar que duele algo, pero no específicamente eh, la parte del brazo, el antebrazo, digamos. Ajá, aquí es my arm hurts. Ajá. Yes. Sí, es, me duele el brazo, right? But we don't know exactly where. Where? Uh, here in my shoulder. Oh, uh, here in my fo the forearm, el, el antebrazo, forearm. Okay. And then uh, this is what you're going to use, yes? Por ejemplo, acá, no hieras mis sentimientos. Don't hurt my feelings. Don't hurt his feelings. You are hurting my hearing. Okay. Okay. The child complained of an ache in his stomach. The child complained. Okay, the child complained that he had a pain in his stomach. A pain in his stomach. An ache in his stomach. So, stomach. 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 My whole body aches. I have a headache and the stomach aches. I have a headache and the stomach aches. Como verbo significa doler y como sustantivo dolor. My life. Okay. No se les olvide para los micrófonos para que puedan oír bien. So. Se usa como sustantivo. Significa dolor y irritación. En general, se refiere a la garganta, pero tiene más aplicaciones. Ok. I have sore throat. The sore on my lip is killing me. My legs are sore. That, that one would be, you know, my, my legs are sore. Me duelen las piernas, all right? This is after we walk or after we exercise a lot, right? And when we do a lot of exercise the first day, then you say, oh, my legs, my legs are sore. Are sore. Okay. Uh, if you go to the gym today, uh, tomorrow morning, then the next day on Thursday, your legs will be sore. So you will have a pain in your legs. Okay, your legs will hurt. So you see there are different ways to say it. Okay. You can continue uh, uh, watching those videos because it's a, it's a question of practice, right? They start and then and try to practice with your own phrases, okay? And little by little, you will you will catch you will catch the the way to use it, okay? But it has uh, it needs a, a lot of repetition, right? A lot of that's why with those links with those two videos, I think you can you can practice a lot, okay? Now we're going to continue with the platform. Okay, um, here we have 
this is how we have for today the knowledge check. Yesterday we were checking with the, we were checking the imperatives, okay, imperative forms. And here, we have eight words that we can use, right? Okay, so we have uh, Esther. Can you tell me the number one? Yes, stay, don't drink, call, stay, don't worry, don't eat, don't go, or see. Which one is for the number one? I'm sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry, Alentis. Yeah. Are you sure? Anybody can help? I tell her if no, sorry, a call. Call? C. Call? Call. Call. Uh, call? C. Okay. Could be call? Could be call? See, a see a dentist. Or C, right? We'll see at the end. No problem. Vamos a ver después las respuestas. Okay, good. Now, the number two, mm -hmm. uh, Eduardo. Too much. Your microphone. Pardon. Okay. Don't, don't drink. Don't drink too much. Don't worry. Oh, don't worry. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. Uh, Tatiana, number three. Take to a spring. A spring. To a spring. Take to a spring. Okay. Good. Uh, now we have Janet. Pardon? Number four. Don't go. Don't go. Okay. Santos. Number five. Stay. 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 Okay, Nancy. Nancy. Number six. Number six, Nancy. Okay, Stephanie. Stephanie, you raise your hand. Call, call uh -huh. a doctor. Call a doctor. Sería oh, call. Call a doctor. Okay, good. See a doctor. See a doctor. Okay, we have a call. No problem. Coffee number seven. Let's see who's gonna be number seven. Here. Don't drink coffee. Don't drink. Don't, coffee. Eat. Don't drink. Don't drink coffee. And the last one? Don't eat. Don't eat. Don't eat. Don't eat. Don't eat. Okay, good. Let's see the answers that we have. Okay, don't eat candy, correct. Don't drink coffee is correct. C, okay, here is C and call. Podrían ser las dos, pues. Así las ordenaron acá, no problem. See a doctor. Uh, then we're gonna change here to see a doctor. Okay. Uh, don't go. No. Stay. Stay in bed is correct. Uh, don't go. Okay. Take is correct. Uh, don't worry. And call. Call a dentist. Okay. Call and call. That would be 33, 33 points. That's a 10. Okay, so we have call a dentist. Don't worry too much. Take two aspirins. 
don't go to school, uh, stay in bed, see a doctor, uh, don't drink coffee, and don't eat any candy. Okay, so remember that all these words that we see here, these are verbs. Let's say some verbs, okay? Call, worry, take, go, stay, see, drink, and eat. Okay, so these are verbs. And you can use them with a negative form, right? Don't call, don't worry, don't take, don't go, don't stay, don't see, don't, see, don't drink, don't eat. Don't eat. Okay. Uh, for example, the, the other one is uh, uh, don't, uh, what else could it be? Uh, don't work too much. Don't work too much. Don't, don't, don't sleep too much. Okay, because sometimes it's, it's not good to sleep too much, right? So we need to, to rest a little bit. Uh, what else? What is another one? Another one that we have, or that we could have? Another negative form, don't. Don't cry. Don't cry, uh -huh. don't cry, okay. Don't worry about economical issues. Don't worry about your, don't worry about your dreams, okay? That could be another one. Okay. Then. You have simple ways to improve your health. 10 simple ways to improve your health. Okay, now listen. Hi everyone. This class will develop skills in scanning and reading for main ideas. Find reading and discussing articles about how to improve. 10 simple ways to improve your health. Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. 1. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. 2. Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. 3. Floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. Ya entró de nuevo. No tiene señal el teacher, quizá, ¿verdad? Quizá, no. Mm. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Perdón que me sacó. Este me fue el internet ahorita. Es que estoy usando el del teléfono. Siempre como una alternativa. Pero les decía al inicio, no sé qué. He estado fallando este día, así que, sorry. Pero aquí vamos ya de nuevamente, ¿ok? Don't worry. Ok, thank you. Here we go. Ten simple ways to improve your health. Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in ten simple ways. One, eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. Two, go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. Three, floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. Four, drink eight cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. Five, stretch for five minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. 
six. We are a secret. something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Eight, protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. Nine, get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods like yogurt, milk, and cheese have calcium. Ten, take a time out. A break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk. Or sit down and listen to music. Okay. So that was for the listening. Now here we have the same reading. Okay, you know, when expand it. And then we are going to answer this uh, six questions, but we're going to check here the vocabulary first. Okay. right? Okay, I'm going to read it and tell me if you have any questions. Eat breakfast, okay, believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. No problem with this vocabulary? No. Okay. Go for a walk. Walking is good. Exercise. And exercise is necessary for good health. Okay. Number three, floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. Okay. It means floss. Okay. Floss is el hilo dental, right? Floss. Uh -huh. Okay, que pasarse el hilo dental, floss your teeth. Not only brush, no solo cepillarse, right? Then it says, flossing keeps your gums healthy. El limpiarse con el dental mantiene las encías, las encías saludables. Four, drink eight cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. Stretch for five minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. 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 Uh -huh. Muscles. Muscles, correct. Wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. Number. Thousands, uh -huh. miles, thousands of lives, mm -hmm. miles de vida. Okay, number seven, do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. No problem? No. Okay. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. Sunscreen. Okay, next one. Yes, moisturizer. Humectantes. Humectantes. Crema humectante. Uh-huh. Crema para la piel. Yes. Yes. Protector solar. Uh -huh. That's correct. Get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods like yogurt, milk, 
and cheese have calcium. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're, they're good on los lactos, right? Yes. Okay, take a time out, a break of about 20 minutes. Do something different, for example, get up and walk, or sit down and listen. Okay. No questions? No question. Okay, now let's see the knowledge check here. And then we have to get exercise, eat breakfast, protect your skin, go for a walk, or a stretch for five minutes. Go for go for work. Go for work. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. A walk. Go for a walk. Get enough calcium. To help your bones. Get enough calcium. Get enough calcium. <laughs> to help your muscles. Plus your stretch for five minutes. Stretch for five minutes. To help your muscles. Plus your teeth. Plus your teeth. Plus your teeth. Plus your teeth. Okay, el hilo dental. Clean your teeth. To have energy. Eat breakfast. 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 Can you hear me? Yes. Do a cross Do a cross walk. 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 Do a cross Do a cross walk. 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 Do a cross Okay, very good. Now let's see, submit. And we have 10, okay? We got a 10. 34 points. Okay, yes, 34 points of 34. Do the 34 out of 34. Do a crossword puzzle, eat breakfast, to have energy in the morning to keep your gums healthy, floss your teeth, to help your muscles stretch for five minutes, uh, to help your bones get enough calcium, and uh, to get exercise, go for a walk. Okay. Sounds good. Good. Now, let's see. Okay, so that's the end of the section two, okay? Now we're gonna start with the section three. Okay, uh, Eduardo Alas, would you please read this objective here? Okay, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for a store and other places and discuss where you can get different things Okay. Vocabulary for the stores and other places. And we can discuss where you can get different things. Okay. Aquí vamos a entrar a un tema diferente. Eh, les voy a dejar que asimilen un poquito lo que hemos visto en la section 2. Pueden comenzar ya a ver también el, el, el examen del midterm. Y mañana hacemos un, un ¿cómo es que se llama? Eh, en grupos una práctica de lo que hemos visto en la sección 2, ok, unos 10 minutos, all right, using don't, eh, como una visita al doctor, ok, y vocabulario de, de, del cuerpo relacionado a la salud y los imperatives, ok, eso va a ser una práctica oral para mañana, ok, pero para que revisen la, la plataforma y mañana hacemos grupos al iniciar la clase e iniciamos con esa práctica, ok. Good. Okay. Then now we have the next one, which is lesson objective. Now we're going to talk about stores and where you can get 
different things. Shopping. Some kind of shopping. Okay, here we go. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Three, you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four, you can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five, you can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. You can buy Please. stamps at a post office. Please be quiet. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do now is to practice the vocabulary. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Hi, this class. At a drugstore, you can buy aspirin. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Okay, here it says you can buy aspirin at a drugstore, right? But remember that at, at a drugstore, we can buy a aspirin. A, we can also buy, um, what else? A, we can buy probably a, a let me see what else. Medicine for the flu, uh, we can buy the syrup, we can buy pills, we can buy creams, different creams, okay, and a, all kind of medicine, drugstore, okay, drugstore, or sometimes also you can say pharmacy. Two, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Okay, the supermarket, we can buy now almost everything right bread meat uh, chicken uh, sodas snacks okay anything you can imagine three you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore okay what is the difference between uh, difference between bookstore and library anybody bookstore is like a uh, Store. Uh -huh. a store, right? Where you can buy the store. Uh -huh. And library? Es como la biblioteca. Yes, mm -hmm. it's where you go and study, right? The library, you go mm -hmm. to study and they lend you, Preston, they lend you books, right? In the bookstore, you pay money for the books. Okay, you buy. Yes. Oh, you can buy gasoline at a gas station. Okay, it says gasoline, but you can also say gas, right? You can buy the gas, you can buy uh, diesel, okay, you can buy fuel, combustible, fuel, right? You know, the gas station. Five, you can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. We don't use the stamps anymore. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like you to do now is to practice the For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion. Forums. 
Okay. Good. These are the things that you can buy you know, when you are at a department store. Good. What else can you buy at a department store? For example, department store like JC Penney's in New York. Furniture. Furniture, uh-huh. A, a stereo, right? A, a refrigerator. Okay, a stove. Closing. By clothes, shoes, mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay. So all these things, department store is because mm -hmm. they're in the same in the, the same kitchen. store. The kitchen. There are different departments, right? There are different mm -hmm. different departments. Uh huh. So it's, it's divided. The kitchen. Uh huh. Although you can buy, a, for example, makeup for, makeup. Women, for ladies, right? Make it for ladies. A jewelry. Oh yes, right. Mm -hmm. uh, you can buy shoes, clothes, uh, beds, and many things. Mm -hmm. That's a department store. The children's. I had children department. I had a children's Assist. department. Where you mm -hmm. can the buy babies. clothes for babies. You can buy a sport. For, there is a department store <laughs> for sports, right? For sports mm -hmm. okay, and all that. Okay. Maternity. Yes. Okay. For, <laughs> For, for new babies, right? Co newcomers. Sí. Okay, good. Yes. So these are places, right? Places where you can buy. So you can buy cereal at a supermarket. You can buy pupusas at a restaurant. Well, at a pupuseria, right? But in the restaurant too. You can pay yeah. the receipt at a bank. Yes. You can pay food at the supermarket. You can eat meat at a restaurant. Yes. You can buy the dinner in a restaurant, you can buy jeans at a department store, and you can pay bills in the bank or at the bank. Okay, good. Now, any questions about the vocabulary? A vocabulary at the department store. Yes, there is a question wait a minute wait a minute <coughs> where can you Where can you get? Okay, look in the chat. It says, where can you get? For example, where can you, uh, or where can I get? It's another one. Where can I get? Where can I get, um, let's say, um, a CD player. Okay, yo creo que ya no hay, Ya no Where can I get a CD player? You can write in the chat your answers if you want, or you can speak. Okay, where can I get a, probably in a, what? Music store, probably in a, in a department store. Uh, what else? Supermarket. Where? A supermarket. The sometime. super. Sometimes, yes. The, for example, Walmart. Eh, exactly. eh, what is um, it? The Defensa Familiar, I think. Yes. You can buy some. Walmart. Walmart, uh huh. Yes. Walmart. Or Price Mart sometimes. Price Mart. Uh huh. So then, in these places, you can get this, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Where can. Yeah. Where can I get uh, shorts in this moment? Many, in this moment, because in this moment, I mean, in, the, uh, in this day. In the, in the est moment, in Genesis, Escalon. <laughs> uh, Genesis, is it open? I don't think so. Uh, 
And I don't know, I don't know. No, I think they are closed. That's why. That's why I'm saying this moment. <laughs> because uh, if you want to buy... Hey, Walmart? Clothes, Walmart? Pro uh -huh, probably. Probably. Sí. Yes, Walmart, probably in the supermarket. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Defensa yeah. Familiar, maybe they have also, right? No. No, they don't. No. No. Okay. So only Walmart and Prashma. Prashma. Okay. So in those places, you can probably get some... Some clothes. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now, ask question. Alguien que pregunte, right? Where can I get? Okay, this where? one, for example, here says, where can I get? Ah, okay, balls for uh, table tennis. Where can I get balls for table tennis? Well, when it is oh. open, you can go to, what's the name? Uh, Hawara Sportive, right? Jawara Sportive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Central City. Central City, okay, that's another one. Galaxy mm -hmm. Sports. Mm -hmm. Galaxy Sports. Uh, there is another one. Nike. A Nike. Nike Paseo. Store. Mm -hmm. Nike Store, right? Then Adidas Store. So there you can get those. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. What else? Ask another question. Practice the vocabulary. For example, where can I get, um, let me see, where can I get vitamins? Where can I get vitamins? Vitaminas. Uh huh. Where can I the get? Farm? You can get in a drugstore. Pharmacy. No. Uh huh, in a drugstore, pharmacy. Pharmacy? Uh -huh. Supermarket. The supermarket. Supermarket. Yes. Yes. Walmart. 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 Also G D N C right? Mm -hmm. G N C not... in Danza mm -hmm. on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> um, no but but in this moment this moment no buses, right? In this yes in San Sal in San Salvador downtown, yes. It's, it's downtown San Salvador. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's, and a bus event, right? That's true. The, the buses uh, also Natural sunshine, those places like that. Also, I think they they also sell vitamins. Okay, what else? Mm -hmm. uh, teacher, teacher, I have a question. Yes, sir, Steve. Uh, what is the difference between shop and store? Shop and a store. Ah, no, there's no difference. Bookstore, bookshop is the same. Uh, Venta. Grocery store, grocery shop. Es tienda. Es Tienda, Pro, probably, probably store is un poquito más grande porque tiene que ver con bodega, maybe, right? But uh, basically, it's, the, it's, it's similar, right? Because you say department store, which is larger, and mm -hmm. shop sometimes is smaller. That could be a difference. Mm -hmm. All right, I got it. Mm -hmm. okay. where, where can I get pupusas? Where can I get pupusas, right? In Antiguo, maybe, Antiguo Cuscatlán, probably they are Me. open, yes. Olocuilta. Olocuilta, yes, of course. <laughs> no, yo las hago. <laughs> <laughs> Más ricas. Janet. Más ricas. Okay, Janet. You sell pupusas, Janet? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. And, and, and where, is, where is your, we have a comer, vamos a hacer un comercial, where, where is your pupusería? Ah, uh, delicious, delicious pupusas but, but de where? Janet. Where, where, Janet? Uh, ya las probaron, <laughs> sí. Eh, no, no, no es pupusería, es, es como, como muy de, de, de... Delivery. No, 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 tampoco. Es, no. es este, las hacemos, se la tienen a traer con familiares, okay. amistades. Ok. Pero tengo mi, mi, mi clientela. You, you have your, ah, you have your customers. Okay, uh, good. Uh, All right, excellent. Nice business. Okay, very yeah. good. So, Veronica, you you give uh, you guarantee that they are nice pupusas, Veronica. Yes, delicious, delicious okay, pupusas good. of the Janet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, my friend. I love you. <laughs> All right, good. Okay, after the commercial, now we have, okay, um, what else? Another, uh -huh, another thing, what else? Where can I get, where can I buy? One more. Where can I get some vegetable? Okay, very good. 
Where can I get some yeah. vegetables? Uh -huh. Where, can some, where can I get some vegetables? vegetables. Uh -huh. vegetables. I don't know. Uh, at the the supermarket, supermarket, supermarket. Supermarket. In yeah. the market. Central. Central, <laughs> central. central market. <laughs> yes, central market. In the market. Uh, in the mercado. On the, the tiendona. On the road to Santa Ana. <laughs> near, 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 near Lourdes. On the road to Santa Ana. In the calle. Yeah. Okay. The, uh, yes, on the street. Can, and on the street, there are many, many places where people are selling uh, vegetables. Okay, very good. Huh? Yes, uh -huh. yes, those pickups. Those pickups, you can see many, many pickups. Yes, in this, uh, in this area. Here in... Uh, now it's yeah. a new port too. Yes, Carretera Santana, you can buy here. Lourdes, Ooh, like 20 of those pickups now, many. Okay, very good. And then we have at the supermarket. Then uh, tomorrow we're going to to have also where is Jim's going to buy swimsuit? Look, we're gonna have a, a talk about places where you can buy different different things. Uh, so we have to practice vocabulary like shoes, mm -hmm. uh, clothes. <laughs> Uh, also, for example, where can I get a, a nice uh, perfume? Mm. The perfume. Okay, where can I buy a perfume for my wife? A recommendation. What? Where can I buy a nice perfume for my wife? Where? Simang. Simang, okay, <laughs> yes, could be. Mm -hmm. Um, what is there one? Uh, Sears, Sears, right? Yes, Sears. Eh, no, ya no está. Ya yeah, lo quitaron. Uh -oh. Ya se fue. My sí. goodness. Estoy, uh -huh. estoy atrasado. What is there one? And the other, and the other one, eh, the one from Mexico. But it was in, uh, sí, sí. Eh, what is the name? There is another one. The competence. Sambors. Sambors. Sa uh, that Sambors. one. Sambors. 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 Mm -hmm. Sambors. And what about Sambors? Mm -hmm. Is still here? Ah, Sambors. Sambors? Sí. Yes. No, ah. Okay. Sí. Okay, good. And probably there are other little stores, right? In the, what is the name of this mall? Uh, Multiplaza, right? In Multiplaza, mm -hmm. there, are many, there are many stores. Many stores where you can buy perfumes. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Uh, if you're talking about uh, children clothes, children's clothes, probably boutiques, you can go to a boutique or you can also go to a department store or more specific for children, anybody knows? Mm. The, the juguetes. Um, the or you can buy uh, toys, right? Toys there. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So in all these places is where you can get all this. Uh, what else? We talk about medicine, we talk about food, mm -hmm. uh, supermarkets, mm -hmm. what else? Ah, well, uh, now, what about if I want to put gas to my car, if I want to fill up the tank, okay, where do I have to go? No, no, sir, then. What is the name, where do, where do we buy gas for the cars? In gas station. In gas station. Uh -huh. Gas station. Station. Okay. station. Gas station. Uh -huh. And in the gas station, you have what? Taco. Uh -huh. Okay. And in, the, and in the gas station, you also have convenience store. Convenience store. Right. The convenience store is like, for example, the Uno has, what is the name of the Uno is? Uh, they have a name, but I don't remember. Texaco has a store. No, the, the name of the convenience store. What is the name? On the market. On the run. On the run. On the run. In Texaco? Texaco has a name too, but I don't remember. Now, for example, DLC. 
DLC has a convenience store. And they call them convenience store porque son tiendas de conveniencia, right? They mm -hmm. are, uh, when you stop there, you can put the gas and buy something in case you have a, an emergency, right? Mm -hmm. Because in these convenience stores, they also have um, a pharmacies or drugstores. Mm -hmm. uh, there are banks, okay? So also they have the bank. Drinks. I uh, had dreams. I am shop. I am shop store. I, I am pupusas. I am <laughs> tarjetería. I am pasteles. Okay, uh, so you have a, 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 a little, you have a convenience store. Oh, convenience. Sí, store, like convenience store. Convenience store. Convenience store. store. Oh, sí. okay. In your house. Sí. Okay. I am lawyer okay. también. <laughs> okay, and so you also give the service as a lawyer. Sí. Uh, okay. So you have cards, uh, what else? Food, pupusas. Pupusas. Uh, cakes, pasteles. Oh, cakes. Oh, wow. So you got everything. Sí. Okay. De todo, de todo. Oh, okay. Everybody. Everybody. It's a, everybody. It's a full woman. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, people. So we're going to stop here and then we continue okay. tomorrow, okay? Have a good night. Okay. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good Take night. care. See you Bye. tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.